If you've watched my other videos, you know I love generators, and this was a real treat. I was provided with a Yamaha inverter generator to do a review on, but I didn't want to just do a regular review because this is a small generator. These are usually considered toys by most people. They use them on boats, they take them camping, but I'm a real person and I wanted to see what this generator could do in a real life situation, not just for hobby uses. So in today's video, I put this generator through its paces to do some real things at home that you need to get done. And I really was surprised by the results. This is the lightest inverted generator on the market for this wattage, but it really is pretty phenomenal. This is a really, really lightweight generator. But the point of today's video is gonna be twofold. I wanna show you the generator itself because this is a pretty unique model. Is it worth buying a small generator like this? Because it's not a lot of wattage at 1,000 watts, and what can you do with it? So I think I've got an interesting test today that you'll like, and we'll take you through it. So you get a standard household outlet, two plugs here, this is the plug that's going to be used for your charging cord. A lot of people ask about the 12 volt plug and if you can use this to start a motorcycle, a boat, or a car and you can't, this is only going to be used to charge a battery. You've got the on, on and stop and this is just basically the kill switch. This has also got an eco mode just like most inverters so that can be turned on and off. You've got an overload LED indicator. This is your AC, and that just tells you that when the thing's putting out the right amount of voltage. And then you've got a low oil LED as well to give you a warning that you're running low on oil. So under this little cover here, this is a spark plug. Makes it pretty easy because you just need a Phillips head screwdriver or you can just use like a dime or a coin. You've got your air cleaner here that's easy to access. Your carburetor is right here. And if you've noticed, if you want to drain this carburetor for um, storage, you just unscrew this Phillips head screw right here, and they've conveniently got a hose. Another important item right here is your oil fill. So because this generator is brand new, we've got to add oil to it, and we've got to put gas in it, and then we should be able to start it right up and do some testing. None of these companies ever include oil, so I'm going to just use my uh, bottle of John Deere that I have here. So when you're filling the oil up in this, you just want to make sure you're on a level surface. This is the little oil funnel they included. It is pretty clever. It actually sits right on the threads. Right on the threads. And that's what you want. So because this is the first time this has ever been run and there's been no gas through it, it's probably going to take a few pulls before it, before it starts. But let's give it a try. Oh, it's pretty amazing actually. I've never run this before at all. Now I wanted to do some real world testing to see how this thing would perform doing actual tasks. So what we have here is a corded DeWalt angle grinder that's pretty heavy duty. So let's see how it does in this test. Now it did a nice job here, but I would have expected it to be able to run a tool like this, but now I want to see this generator do a lot more. Most people buy these generators for real small jobs, but now I have a big job. So say you've lost power and you want a generator like this to run the heat in your house. Can it do it? Let's see. Now here I'm connecting it up to my small generator switch panel and I'm going to turn on my heating system so that it runs on generator. Let's see. So the boiler's on right now, you can see the display is on, but it's not really running and that's going to be the test of the generator. So what I'm going to do is temporarily make the boiler think that it's calling for hot water by shortening these two terminals. And because of the way this is set up, when I connect these, it'll turn on.
So this concludes the testing and I'm really blown away. This generator has absolutely exceeded my expectations. I personally like this generator a lot, but I like the fact that it was able to do small jobs and big ones like be a backup power source to keep you warm in the winter. So I hope this video was helpful, at least made you think. If you did, please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thanks for watching.